And in 5-part E, we also have a situation where a dummy edge is required. You'll notice that activities A, B and C have no predecessors, and things seem to cavalcade to an end with G, H and I. So I'm going to have a three-way splay at the beginning and a uh, three-way join together at the end. Now, this is where a bit of trial and error may be required, of course. I'm going to put A down here, B into the middle, and I'll have C junctioning up towards the top there. And please notice, if you've drawn this slightly differently, we're probably on the same track. Now, the next step, D requires B, so I'm pretty certain I can put D in there. Um, and uh, the next step from A, the other item that requires A is going to be E. And you'll notice that I requires E and D. So I'm just going to draw a junction in here. It looks like that comes to the end like so. Um, with uh, item F, item F also requires A. And it doesn't seem to track to anything else prior to it and f precedes g and g seems to come to the end as well so i'll put my finish here now um when we look up the top here it looks like uh activity h requires both c and b now a bit of a bit of a stuck situation here because b is also a predecessor for d so what i'm going to do here is to put in a dummy edge. So X, zero, that enables activity B to indicate properly that it precedes um, activity H as well as D, but clearly C is not a requirement for D. Let's neaten that up a little. And activity H. It also pays to check. So A, B, and C kick things off. Um, e requires A. F requires A. I've got that. G only requires F. H requires C and B. That's where we had to put that dummy edge in. And I requires E and D. Now, take some time to review this one. Please remember, have a start and a finish. Allow probably up to a quarter of a page, maybe a third if you wish, and work with pencil so you can make adjustments as you go. Please notice that you could have something like mine only flipped. I could have quite easily drawn the A, E, F combo up the top, and I could have flipped the other as well. What is vital is that you're becoming more and more confident where to use the dummy edge. Please note, when it comes to tests and assessments, we tend to give you most of the, the uh, network project map. We might ask, that, say, you fill in this lower branch or you explain some of the phenomena present there. All the changes in the rest of this unit is looking at timing sequences, and we'll work on that pretty soon.